Next game on the board, 3.30 p.m. We have got Michigan State heading to Purdue. The Boilermakers, a three-point underdog at home. This line looked uh, really short uh, coming off of a, a top-10 win for Michigan State last week. Total is 53 and a half. You would think that Michigan State would be in a letdown spot after a win over a top-10 Michigan team, but you go back and look over the last 10 years, they are 7-3 and three straight up. Uh, off of a win over Michigan, or not a not an, a win, sorry, off of the Michigan game in the last 10 seasons. So, you know, they don't, I guess they kind of expect to beat Michigan. There was no rushing the field last week, anything like that. They they just expected to go in and beat them. Michigan State has won eight straight against Purdue, but the last meeting was in 2018. Uh, Purdue is four and one against the spread in their last five against the Spartans. Uh, brother, there are some things that Purdue does that, that Michigan State has trouble with. I, I think Purdue can can pass the ball around a little bit. Now, the raw numbers will not tell you that, but, I mean, we saw it against Iowa. Like, they they find holes in the defense, and Michigan State, I mean, we saw it. Michigan had not been able to pass the ball very effectively all season, and they were able to, to get some passing yards up on Michigan State. I This line scares me to death. I initially was going to take Purdue here. I think I'm going to take Michigan State minus the three. My line on it was Michigan State minus six. I mean, you look at some of the advanced numbers. Parker over at CFB-Graphs.com, his numbers actually have Purdue winning this by like a touchdown. So I don't know exactly what to make of it. Purdue's not going to be able to run the football on them. And, And Purdue's defense is number 10 in EPA per play. If they can slow down Kenneth Walker, make Peyton Thorne beat you, they, I mean, they got a shot to get some interceptions here. They got a shot to maybe make this a really, really tight ball game. But I'm I'm going to roll with Sparty here at, at minus three. Yeah, Michigan State's the play. You 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 said all that stuff, and you went to pick Michigan State. That made sense. Anyway, neither here nor there. Listen, you know what they're not going to do? They're not, I don't care what they've done in the past. They're not stopping Kenneth Walker. That's the thing. If they don't, if they do, then yeah, they win the game. But but that's the best running back in football, Gary, and they're not stopping it. They're going to control the line of scrimmage. They're going to eat clock. They're going to play good defense. Yes, Purdue's going to be able to throw the football on them, and Purdue's going to score to the point. But it's not going to be enough. I, I, Michigan State scores just about every drive down, if, if not a touchdown, a field goal, just because I can't imagine this Purdue defense slowing down Kenneth enough to get them out of field goal range. I think he's that important, and I think he's that good. Yeah, I can uh, I can see that. All right, so we're both rolling Sparty here. Uh, we have picked the same thing three straight. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.